Hi there, if you're fairly new to the channel, my name's Scott and this channel is everything on running gear reviews, tips and tricks and reviewing races and today I've got a review video again for you. It's a review on these, the Nike Pegasus 38s, the newest edition of the Pegasus range. This is Nike's most popular trainers in the running range catalogue and I'm going to give my review and opinion on this trainer. So. The stru structure of the video is going to be similar to my other training reviews, so I'm going to go through the likes, dislikes, give an overall rating at the end. Uh, but firstly, we're going to rewind a few months to when I first got these and took them on my very first run in the new forest. So let's start there and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of the trainer. So yeah, let's go. Hey, you're joining me in the new forest now. And uh, what a perfect place to try out these brand new trainers. So I'm going to do a mixture of road and trail today, so perfect little place for that to really put these trainers to the test. Really excited. But yeah, brand new, out of the box. Let's see how they get on. That is the first run done in the Nike Pegasus 38s and really good run that. So I've tested them in trail and road conditions and they look still brand new really but I did go on trail I promise. And yeah really responsive, quick shoe, uh, different type of support to what I'm used to with Brooks but apart from it just being a new shoe and getting used to it um, I felt they performed really well so yeah good rating I'd give them on the performance so far. And time will tell as I keep using them whether that opinion stays. So, yeah, really good uh, first run with them. I've been using these trainers for a few months now, and I feel I'm in a position to now give a proper review. And I'm going to start with the likes of these trainers and what I really like about them. So, firstly, is price. So. These actually come in at a very reasonable price. I've looked online, if you do a bit of scouting, you can get these for around 76 quid on ASOS I've seen. Um, so on the Nike website, I think it tops 100, but if you are happy to go on alternative established websites, you can get these you know, for a bit cheaper. So for a premium trainer to come under 100 quid is always good. And yeah, very impressed by the price of them. The second thing I like about the trainers is the breathable mesh. So these trainers, it's an upgrade from the 37s to the 38s. One of the key changes was this breathable mesh on top. Uh, and obviously it just allows your feet to breathe more, you tend to sweat less. Uh, it's a really nice feature they've added and Nike seem to have done this across most of their trainers now. So it's obviously uh, something they're rolling out uh, across the board. So. Really good upgrade actually from the 37 to the 38s in that regard. The third thing I like about them is the cushioning on the tongue. Uh, it's quite hard probably to see there, but it's really padded uh, all the way all the way down. Uh, never had any blisters uh, in that kind of area of the, the foot, uh, so it's really nice plush padding. Uh, not only that, but in the heel as well. So it's a snug fit on the tight side, I would say. Uh, but you've got yeah, nice padding there. The fourth thing I like about these, and it's not necessarily essential, but they come in a nice range of styles. So if you go onto the Nike website or alternative websites, you can see just how many styles you can get from them. And you can also make custom styles as well. So uh, not essential, but it is nice just to have a good looking pair of trainers. Uh, these were one of the uh, standard custom flagship styles, uh, which I quite like, with the white, black, purple combo. Uh, so yeah, really nice styles to choose from. Moving on to the dislikes, and there are a few unfortunately I have to say. So the first one is, and number one biggest dislike is the laces. So unfortunately these are laces which, from my experience, keep coming undone. Uh, doesn't matter how I tie them, uh, it's just the material they're made of that's kind of like a silky nylon material. Uh, which is a shame because other Nike trainers, such as the Vaporflies, which I've done a review on, use more 
uh, grip laces, which never come undone. And it's a shame that Nike can't apply the same to these, to the Pegasuses. So it's a big shame. It's why I'll never use these in a race because uh, you just cannot afford for them to keep coming undone. That could be very costly. So yeah, really big shame is the laces. Uh, obviously it's something you can rectify, you can buy your own laces, but you know, when you're spending a fair amount of money on some trainers, you shouldn't have to do that in my opinion. So that's a big negative. The next negative is don't really know what purpose they serve apart from being a good all rounder. So they're not the most comfortable trainers. They are comfortable, uh, but if I was going for comfort, comfort going for long runs I would go probably in my Brooks which are ultra comfortable uh, and they're also not the quickest they are quick and quicker than the Brooks uh, but they're not say as quick as the Vaporflies which are Nikes do or the Zoom X um, so or the Zoom Fly I should say so it, they are a good all-rounder and they're brilliant for beginners in my opinion but uh, they don't really have a niche that they fit uh, into your trainer rotation, which is a shame. The third and final dislike of the trainers is the tightness of them. So it's like I mentioned briefly, but these are on the tight side. And this is me saying this with fairly narrow feet. Uh, so if you do have feet that are wide, if you tend to get wider trainers, uh, this is not a trainer I'd recommend for you. So it kind of rules out uh, that population of the market which is a shame so um, it's just something to consider if you do have wide feet um, I wouldn't probably recommend other alternative trainers to the Pegasus so that's the dis uh, dislikes of the trainers and now I'm just going to go through the overall rating so having quickly gone through the trainer review having gone through the likes and dislikes and with everything said I will give this an overall rating of a 3 out of 5. So it's not to be too critical, this is still uh, a trainer that has its purposes in terms of a beginner runner that just wants a good all-rounder trainer. It's not too fussed about having anything for races uh, or anything that's super comfortable. But for me, it doesn't serve a purpose, an obvious purpose. Uh, so I'm still happy I've got them, I will continue to use them uh, until I've worn them down but it's probably not a trainer I'm going to repurchase uh, when they do need, do need to be uh, renewed. So for me it's a 3 out of 5, it's a solid trainer, I can see why it's popular uh, but for me I feel there's more comfortable trainers out there for long runs and I feel there's quicker trainers out there definitely uh, for faster tempo runs and race day. So that's my review of the Nike Pegasus 38s. Uh, if anything you agree or disagree with the trainers, let me know. Anything I've missed that you wanted to know about these trainers, let me know in the comments. And to my subscribers, I will see you for more reviews, more tips and tricks on the way soon. Thank you.